What's up, Hacksters? We are all set for another edition of Freebie Friday. This is a program from Xilinx, where every month we're giving away packages of electronic goodies to people who can answer simple questions about Xilinx. And you're going to find more information about that in the link in the description to this video. It's events.hackster.io slash freebie dash Friday. So what I have here is a giant box containing such materials from Xilinx, and I'm going to unbox it real quick, and then we're going to talk about the board that's inside here, as well as the challenge. Ooh. Okay, so we've got this big box. This is quite large. Oh, this is the... So this comes with actually a bunch of accessories. Here is the pink Z2 kit box. It has a diagram of the layout on the other side. We're going to take a closer look at that in a second on the website. Two of the things that really jump out at me at the first look is that it has these Arduino breakouts as well as a Raspberry Pi port. So anything that you can connect to Arduino, all your Arduino shields and things, all your Raspberry Pi hats, you can already connect those out of the box. Whoa, look, there's some kind of a fancy case here with a carabiner on it. And it has a whole little uh, enclosure assembly. Wow. Look at this laser cut clear acrylic enclosure for the device. That's pretty flash. What else do we have here? There is a, it's all nicely packed as well. There's these little cardboard shapes holding everything in place. We've got a power supply. So you've got the international plugs here, a barrel jack providing 12 volts at 2.5 amps. That should be plenty. Hopefully. We have an ethernet cable and a micro USB cable. And then finally, a 16 gigabyte SD card. So let's open this puppy up. I'm gonna put away all the cables and stuff for a sec. So da 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 da. We've got some styrofoam and the board itself shrouded in an anti-ESD bag. Beautiful. The presentation on this whole kit is really nice. Like. Xilinx always does really well with their swag. Whoever's in charge of that is kind of incredible. And then also, you know, looking at this case, which is super high quality, and the fact that they give you an enclosure right off the bat, as well as the beautiful documentation on this box. I think that they have a real eye for quality. They got the specs on the side here too. Neat. So let's get you out of your bag, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about what makes this board so cool. This is the pink Z2. It's actually the second generation. And they've definitely had time to kind of refine this. So, all right, taking it from the top. As well as the existing specs on the outside of the box here, there's also a more in-depth version of PDF on the tool website that is linked below. So we have, besides the Arduino and Raspberry Pi connectors that we saw before, we have HDMI. This thing actually has two HDMI ports. There's HDMI in, so a uh, video sync port, as well as uh, HDMI out. So this can display video to other devices, but also receive input, which is pretty rare for a board like this. Another cool thing about it is that it has an audio codec. So you've got this headphone and mic jack, as well as a line-in port over here. You've got ethernet, you've got a big heat sink on the chip, which we'll talk about later. There's a bunch of user programmable functions. So you've got these four buttons, and two user programmable switches, as well as four programmable LEDs. And these two RGB ones make that a total of six. Power switch. <laughs> You've got a micro USB port for JTAG and UART for programming and debugging. Here's your power. And then over here, you have a couple of PMOD expansion ports as well. And there are utilities you can find that are ready to plug in here, as well as whatever else you happen to have lying around. We have a jumper for selecting the power source and another one for boot mode selection. All right, let's take a look at some of the online resources for this, because that's kind of where it really shines. So as I mentioned, there's the official tool website where you can find a bunch of info about this. Just go to the Pink Z2 page. There you can find this, which is the product announcement and has the really in-depth view. So before we dig into the hardware anymore, I'd like to talk about Pink, which is what this is designed for. It's an open source project that makes it really easy for Python developers to get started with Xilinx platforms, FPGAs, and microprocessors. So you don't have to be an expert on hardware or FPGAs in order to use those things. In fact, it's compatible with a bunch of existing Python resources like Jupyter Notebooks and Overlays, as well as Desktop Linux. I actually had to look up what Overlays were for this, and it sounds really cool. It's like a sort of hardware library where for Python you'd use a module for you know doing tie-in stuff 
or working with OpenCV. In this case, you're using it to interact with hardware. You can use existing hardware accelerated algorithms to reduce application development time as well as increasing performance by 10 to 100 times. And there's already a ton of resources up here. There's a community that's been publishing a bunch of projects around this. Of course, there's a Hackster community too. And you can also find pre-built images for a bunch of different development boards that are zinc based and you can also create your own images for other zinc based platforms oh they've got the ultra 96 on here cool as you hit get started you can find the setup guide for the pink z2 as well as other boards there's a pink workshop for getting started which works with this board you can find more projects on the hackstar community of course there's a few of my faves here i'm just going to pull up uh, we have one from adam taylor which is a pink controlled neopixel led cube look at that so many possibilities. Another team built a pink-based automotive dashboard so you can control these little odometers and tachometers and whatever from your pink board. I think they're using a phone there to control it. And besides the Arduino and Raspberry Pi interfaces, they also have dedicated hardware, including this pink Grove Shield, which gives you, it looks like 16 different Grove interfaces. And there's also an entire reference manual published on the tool website as well. It is 31 pages and should answer all of your remaining questions. So if you want to get your hands on one of these, it's not too hard. Just go to events.hackster.io slash freebie dash Friday. Read the blurbs, do the steps. The link for the quiz is right here and it's live now. Good luck.